Hello, and welcome back to my walkthrough of Ultima 4, Quest of the Avatar. We are pretty much where we left off last time. If you look, our gold is, is a bit more. I spent a little bit of time off camera and did some killing in the area here and made some stuff. You also notice that uh, Dupree, I think it is, is uh, has got a level up. He's now level four. That happened. I went to, to Lord British to heal us up after we were done. And Dupree got enough to get us to level four. So we've got enough to uh, do a little shopping. But first of all, the first order of business today is going to be trying to complete our party. Let me bring up the map. As you can see, I've emptied out the the, the, the big bay there, the, the middle area there, because it, we had a whole bunch of stuff there that was covering it. And I think we're going to have things in here. Like you can see, I, I realized I'd never mapped Magencia. So I've mapped where Magencia is there. So we are there by Lord British right now. So we've got to come southeast to hit, to hit uh, Magencia. Uh, and that's where we are headed first. And then we are going to go over to you and uh, we'll do that by sea. And we will see if we can get that companion and complete our party here. I'm thinking that that's, that's what's going to happen. I'm hoping that's what's going to happen. Along the way, we might uh, swing down the Scar Bray and buy some more reagents. We need to get some food at some point here. I want to see what the prices are on you. So let's get rolling. I say rolling, but let's get sailing. So let's come down south. Now, let's see what the coordinates for Magencia are, they're K and L. So if we look at where we are now, we are at G and H, or H and G is the way I should say it. So let's come down here. I think this is that little, I don't know what this is here. There might be islands. Yeah, I think these, I think these are just more islands that are there around Brittany Bay. So let's, Locate our position. So now we're at I and I, and we're going to K and L. So we're getting there. So I'm just doing you know, a little bit of south, a little bit east. So we're at J and K. Yes, yeah, so we are definitely getting there. Oh, we got something here. I think this is it. It is. All right, I didn't feel like dealing with any headless just now. All right, so let's enter the town. Oh, that's right. Am I in the right spot? I want to double check. I think I am in the right spot. So we have, yeah, Katrina the Shepherd in Magencia. So somebody, golly, do we have cure spells? Okay, we do have, because somebody, at least one person will probably end up getting poisoned here from this one bit of swamp that we've got to go into. But let's, yep, told you, told you. Told you, told you, told you, Julia. All right. So let's get down here. Talk. Name. Katrina. Job. Survivor. Magencia was destroyed by pride. Pride flourishes in the absence of truth, love, and courage. No. Humility is a virtue that must overcome pride. Humility. I'm just curious if she's got... I think I've been through all those before. Okay. Will you join me? Yes. Holy hell. She's level one. And she's got a staff. Oh my gosh, she's so squishy. <laughs> she's so squishy. All right, well that's not gonna that's not gonna stand. All right, so we need to make some changes. 
So ready a weapon for Dupree. Um, he's going to use the sword again. And then ready a weapon for Katrina. And we will give her the sling because she's definitely got to be ranged. Holy heck. That's bad. I didn't, I was, I was hoping, I mean, I, granted, I didn't need to wait this long. I just didn't realize what her deal was, you know, so. Uh, okay, so we need to go to you. And so we need to go, first of all, we just need to go due east until we are beyond Moonglow. The islands of Moonglow and all that. So, and Moonglow's coordinates are I and O. So, K and N. So, we still have ways to go. We'll just sail east. Of course, we're sailing into the wind, so it's taking us a while. Typical, typical, typical. K and O. Okay, so we're in K. That's fine. We don't want to get there. We're right about, we're, if we just went due north from here, we'd hit it. So let's just go a little bit more east. So we're at K and P. All right, that ought to be enough. Let's go up. So the shore where I want to go, where I think I want to go is like B, say B and C. That's going to be the closest shore to you. So let's head up that direction. It's probably going to take us a while, even with the wind in our faces. So we are on I. We were on K, so we've come up a bit. And you know what I might do, unless something interesting happens, is, is I might just... Uh, well, we're on D already. I was, I was going to say I was going to... I was going to wait, but so what's that? That's, I think, the spit of land that's just south of Empath Abbey. What is this? Am I where I think I am? Yeah, I think I am where I think I am. Let's just follow the shoreline a little bit. We We should be able to see... Empath Abbey from the sea. I think we're not quite there yet. Oh, squiddies. A and C, we, we overshot. Ugh. All right, attack south. Uh, you can go over there, you can go over there, you can go over there, you can go over there. Julia, right now nobody's lined up with her, so I might just leave her be. Get our melee peeps. Heavily wounded. If somebody gets over in a position, well, like there, there's a guy that's in a position to attack her, so, or that she's lined up on. Um, so I'll probably have her just take a practice swing, Dupree is. It's been a little while since he's done the sword. He's got to get used to it. Lightly wounded. All right. I wish there was some way you get rewarded for, for fighting these guys. That's good he's fleeing. Besides just, I mean, you get XP but when you kill them. But I'm talking cold hard cash here. That's what I want. All right, because Katrina's got her person heavily wounded. Or her person, her squid. Heavily person. Okay. That one's fleeing. In theory. I'll have Iolo come down here. We're being electrified. It's like they're electric eels or something. Okay, that one's gone. You can't do anything. 
Dupree's doing all right. I wanted to move me, but I didn't because I messed up. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. This isn't all bad because uh, whoever's there, our melee guy is going to is going to protect her. All right, that one's gone. So and then there were two. All right, that one that one made it out. Come on, Debris. We're counting on you. Maybe we're counting on Iolo. And another ship. Ooh, there's a few more of these guys. I'm thinking, so let's put you up there. We aren't going to be able to allow everybody to help. I'm thinking, right, so we'll leave. That rogue's fleeing. I don't know where he thinks he's going to go. I could have attacked there. Okay, you two are going to have to take some time off. All right, there's another one down. We're going to have another ship here. And um, we might do something with this ship that I was thinking about with that. There was that one that we left, I think it was over by Scarabray, if I remember correctly. And um, I had an idea of a way to use that ship. And, and you know, since it looks like they're persistent and, and leave it by the shore where we can get to it another way, um, you know, by Moongate or what, what what have you. And then that way it's an emergency ship. If something happens and like we just had to take on Pirate's Cove and we screw it up. Oops, there's nobody there to attack. I think that one guy is just, he's hiding. Did somebody flee? How did somebody flee? That's not possible. <laughs> You can't do that. That's impossible. That guy is trying to flee. I mean, there's no place to go. It would be really helpful. Up. Oh, yes. What is that noise? I don't get what that noise is. Okay, that guy's now hemmed in. All right, that one's down. All right, and then there was one. And we've got two people over there. I think I'm just going to send them over. And everybody else can just stay on our ship. It's like the prize crew. Oh, I should have moved you, Prey. Well, only one person can fight him. Unless he gets out of that little nook. And it doesn't. he's not going to get out of that little nook. Because now... Shamino... It's going to take him out. Yeah, look at this. So if I exit our ship, actually, let's board our ship. Right. So if I exit our ship, 
board this ship. This is what I was thinking about later. So exit, board, we can just kind of leapfrog. Now, obviously you wouldn't want to do this over any great distance. Exit, board. Exit, board. Okay, so where are we at? We're at A and D. We're at A and D. Okay, so Empath Abbey is not too far from here. We got to go around this to, to the east of this point. But we can get here, I believe. We should be able to get here from Empath Abbey, from the Empath Abbey area. Maybe. Oh, more demons. Whoa, what the hell? Oh. All right. Oh, and I already messed up. I did not know they could do that. <laughs> I didn't realize. I mean, I realized they have wings. I didn't realize they were flying. All right. Uh, I messed up because I wanted to use the horn. I did... That one's fleeing already. All right, good. All right, so if I go use, okay, use with horn, and I say horn. The horn sounds an eerie tone, and you'll see that between the food and the ship health, we've got a red dot, and so that means the horn effect is still active. All right. And so I think it weakens them and maybe it's supposed to cause them to flee, I think. Um, although they don't seem to flee a whole ton in my experience. I mean, this is only the second battle where I've used the horn. But at the same time, you'll notice they're not... I mean, they're not really keen to, to close distance with us. They're just kind of hanging back, so... It's not always a good thing, because they are still hitting us while hanging back with their magical heads, but I think these top two are in danger of fleeing. There's another one down. That's good news. All right, you can't do anything. You can't do anything. That one's barely wounded. That one's barely wounded. Still barely wounded. I was worried about there was like seahorses there, and I was, you know, I was trying to think: Do I want to fight the seahorses? Are we going to have to fight the seahorses, or is it another ship? I forget. There was something else there in the water. See, now this guy's coming forward. So, but the horn is still active. We stole the red dot from the horn. I'm not pretty, I'm not really certain how effective the horn is. I mean, maybe it helps somewhat, or maybe it's, I don't know if it's really only um, effective, supposed to be effective in the, um, on that island where the shrine is. Oh man, Katrina, I might have to heal her. In fact, I'm probably going to have to move her out of the way because she's right in the diagonal. Because she's so squishy. Okay, that guy's gone. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Move Katrina back. Just because I, I want, I'm, I'm hoping maybe she gets an opportunity to kill this guy and get some XP because she needs it more than anybody. Being level fracking one, holy Hannah! Come on, heavily wounded. Finally, we can't do anything to that guy yet. Now he's fleeing. Come on, Julia. Ah, oh, she missed. That's not Julia, that's uh, Katrina. Yeah, this guy's supposed to be fleeing, yet oh we can't we, we can't hit him. He's also not moving. Now he's moving. Come on, Katrina. You need this XP. There we go. There we go. Now we just need this guy to to move, to come within striking distance. I'm actually thinking I might move Julia. If he can, if he'll shift to the shift to the uh, the left there, it's just one spot. There we go. He's heavily wounded. Move Violo. Maybe he can back me up. Gone. Yeah, I was I was all busy thinking about the seahorses. It's like, do I really want to fight the seahorses? Yes, darn it. I was trying to fire the cannon. I guess I did. Seahorses and a Nixie. That's an interesting, interesting combo. All right, let's get the melee peeps where they need to be. Yeah, I need to keep a really sharp eye on Katrina's health. So I think I'm just going to have her there at the bow where she's probably not going to get bothered at all. Come on, Joffrey. You're killing me with this miss. Everybody's missing. Everybody's missing. Everybody's missing. Okay, got him heavily wounded. I mean, Nixies aren't super tough, usually speaking. Oh, looks like we got a seahorse trying to flee. That guy's lightly wounded. Now the Nixie's fleeing. All right. There, seahorse is fleeing. All right, good job, Dupree. All right, the Nixie is fleeing. Julia misses with her axe. Now, if that Nixie keeps um, keeps fleeing to the left, then. Uh, Katrina may get an opportunity to target him. But we will see. Uh, I was trying to get up there to, to target that guy, and that did not happen. In fact, what I might do with Katrina... Since it looks like he's not going to keep going in that direction, is let's move her out one. <laughs> God darn you. All right. 
You're going to have one shot at this, I think, Katrina. Heavily wounded, that guy. Get him. Beautiful. More XP for her. That's good news. I see horses fleeing. All right, where are we at? We're at A and D, so we are a bit north of where I wanted to be. I've up oh, Shoals. Come on. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Stop! All right, cast one healing on seven. I got two points. Oh, dear God. Okay. We're at A and D. A and... Okay, we are... Wow, we are not exactly where I wanted to be. We might be screwed here. Let's see if we can make it to you. I don't think... How many heals do I have? I have nine heals. Oof. Cast one. Heal. Katrina. That was better. Okay. I'm not at all certain we can get to you with Katrina alive. Okay, so there is where the moon gate is. Oh, cast one heal, Katrina. Okay, we're all, we got more than just Katrina in trouble. Enter. Dry goods. I think that's what we need. Yes! Thank you. All right. Holy hell. I mean, we wanted to get here. Not starving. Uh, so you is 25 for 35, which is not the best price. It's also not the worst price because Yalom was 40. Scarabray is 25. So right now, I actually need to, to like, I said, do, do some math and get it to a per, put, put my, in my notes here, get it to a per ration price. Okay, so we've got 284 gold. I could have sworn we had 300 and something at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> I don't know why that is. I don't know why that is. All right. Um, so if we get 100, that's four, four packs would be 70, 140. Let's do five packs of rations. It gets us up to 125. Yes. How many packs of 25 would I like for? Oh, three. All right, so now we have 200 gold, or 200 food, no gold. So we need to go and hole up and camp. All right. All right, well, we made it. 
we made it. Um, we'll try to hold up a camp here in a minute, but let's first of all do what we came here to do. So where is Yana at? Or Jana? Yana? J-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. I, I wrote um, in the upper left-hand quadrant. There she is. Talk. Name. Yana. I have her spelled wrong. I have N-N-A, -N -N -A, but it's A-A-N-A. -A -A. Okay. I am Yana. I'm going to say Yana. Especially with the double A's. I can say Yana. Uh, what's your job here? Understand justice. Justice. Okay, here it goes. I'm at a three on justice. We were up from a two. Let's see if that's enough. Oh, that were not experienced enough. Really? Come on, the last time I was here, she said I wasn't just enough. And now you're going to throw I'm not experienced enough. So I can't get her until I get level eight at this point. And that's going to take a while. That's going to take some doing, man. All right, I guess we're not completing the party today. Because I got to get to 6,400 experience to get to level eight, which I think is the most experience you can get in this game. All right, so let's get out of here. I am very glad that we kept Katrina alive. All right. C and D. I wanted to go ahead and capture this position while I was here. All right, so let's take a moment and let's hope and camp. See if we can get our health back from starving. Oh my God. You know, I kind of looked at that 70. I looked at that 70. We were, we were at 70 um, health when we left Lord Britain. And I thought, hmm. Well, I, we got that there. I don't want to stop with staring at a bunch of demons. And these are the bad kind. All right. Okay, so the eerie hat sound. It'd be nice if there was like a sound effect, but there is not. All right. Let's bring him over. She is already lined up. Now these are the guys I don't like because they do that and then everybody's asleep and then I get annoyed. All right, that guy's heavily wounded already. You're doing really good, Iolo. And now I'm sleeping. They don't only cast big sleep spells, but then they've got little sleep balls that they hit you with. All right, good, I woke up. I'm not like some of these people that are just like, oh, let me go to sleep. So that Balron is fleeing. Sort of. It's thinking about fleeing. Let's get it thinking about dying. That's what I wanted to think about. All right, that's one down. Ooh, fiery hit. They do fiery hits too. All right. All right, Julia. <laughs> well, that's not fair. All right, come on. All right, I'm awake. Lightly wounded. Let's see if we can't fix that. Oh, that was po that was a poison shot. These guys have got like the full arsenal. Cause I think we got I think we came out of fighting one of these Well we got poisoned we got poisoned at the Shrine of Humility. 
And I was like, how the bloody heck did that happen? And I guess now we have our answer because there were a ton of these guys in those, um, in those, in those demons. Yeah, see, Shamino's poisoned right now. So I'm going to have to cure him when we get done with this. I hate these things with, with a passion. All right, so cast one, cure, Shamino. Get me 88 gold, hole up in camp. Holy hell. But yeah. Okay, we're already, we've, we, we ate six food just doing that. So we need a lot more gold. We need to go and get some some more reagents. And uh, and then uh, I, once we get some more reagents and we can mix up some more things, I think we're ready to go back and, and try the Shrine Humility again. I don't know if those demons are going to respawn or not. No effect. That is not allowed. Why no effect? Nobody, nobody attacked us. Oh, bloody hell. All right. As soon as I wake up, if I ever do, I need to heal uh, Julia. Uh, that, was, that was a mistake. Wrong person. I'm just going to move Julia out of the way as much as I can. Because I don't know how many more hits she's got left in her. Let's see. Shamino can cast Heal Julia. Okay, that's better. I feel better about that. 19 health points is not a lot. What are these things? Wisps? I think we're okay fighting these things. Yeah, these are these are like magical, magical BS. So we're okay fighting these. We aren't going to get in trouble from a valor perspective or whatnot. This time, uh, me and Iolo, man, we must have been tired. <laughs> okay. Oh, that one. Oh, these guys can teleport, I think. Because I was chasing some that were up at the top, and now they are not at the, up at the top. Yeah, these guys can teleport. That's uh, unfortunate. This is also going to be a rest that's not going to get nets us anything, because you never get an effect when you've been attacked in the middle of the night. All right, that's one wisp killed. That wisp is fleeing. Uh. All right, another one down. I look into anything. I can't do anything. Sound like one flood. That wisp is fleeing. I missed. That one flood. That one's heavily wounded. That one's dead. Or, or non corporeal, or whatever. That wisp is fleeing. Yeah, and we don't get any gold for it either. All right, I don't understand why we didn't get any any health the first time because nothing attacked us 
Nothing attacked us whatsoever. Well, let's see if we can get some get some health. Holy Hannah. We heart well, we got a little bit of gold. All right. I don't understand. Maybe we don't like sleeping in the woods. Oh, you morons. This is like fighting the three stooges of Britannia here. It's like, hey, do you, do you know who we are, sir? <laughs> do you have any con conception of who you are annoying right now? Get my melee guys kind of up here like this. Have Katrina hold back, but yet still be in a position to go off, do some attacking. Heavily wounded. Yeah, Julia is not in great health. None of us are in great health. That's Iolo, Dupree. Don't attack Iolo. Lightly wounded. That one's gone. Let's move over. I'm going to get up there. Try to get up there. And take on Mr. Troll. Because... He needs to die. Dupree, Iolo, I don't know that you're in a good position to be able to do much of anything. Oh, that guy's done. All right. Oh, it's just us and the troll. There we go. Not to send. Get. 56 gold. So we're slowly building our gold back up. That'll enable us to buy some reagents. So now we got to find our ship again. Yeah, it was north of here. There's our ships. Let's fight these skellies. Uh, I don't know why I went to the side there. That was just kind of silly. I'm just fighting them because we could use the gold. We'll just say, oh, we have somebody escape already. Somebody came to their senses. Sen uh, sentences. Somebody came to the senses and were like, oh, not these guys. Yeah, and there's one more of us now. Whoop. Dupree's so anxious to get in this fight, he can't help but swing. That one's, oh, that one's killed. Good. So that's a little bit more XP for K Katrina. Eh, that's a good deal. That one's fleeing. I think it's been fleeing, but it is continuing to flee. That skeleton's fleeing. Good. Come on, Katrina. You got to hit those people. You got to hit them. And we just got this one last skelly. Sixty-one gold. Let's try to hold and camp again. Now that we're kind of on the shore.
oh, thank God, we got some health out of that. Some of our people aren't full up, but we're a heck of a lot better than we were. Okay, so I think we are going to let that be that. I um, I actually may do a little bit more um, gold accumulation uh, before the next episode, and then we'll go down and get some more reagents and make some more uh, spells, and we'll head and get elevated in, in humility and get that done. So we're bit by bit. And then after that, I think it's time to... Uh, hit a dungeon and go down it. There's when, once uh, once we can uh, have a bunch of reagents and a bunch of food. I'd hate to think we were starving like that in a dungeon. We would just die and wake up in in British's castle. So, you know, that would suck. But but uh, you know, stuff happens. Anyway, I will uh, let that be that. Thank you for watching this episode with me. I do hope you come back for the next one. And until then, be seeing you.